greet each and everyone that has made it to this place this morning. May God richly bless you. And also I want to thank you, my daughter Miriam, for this wonderful opportunity to let me stand here and give a word of prayer. But before I pray, I would like to share a word, just one verse, just one short verse, and that is in the book of Psalms 23 and verse 1 only. Psalms 23 verse 1 only and it says that the Lord is my shepherd I shall not want oh my God hallelujah I was sitting somewhere when uh, Miriam told me that I should be able to come and give a word of prayer so I was just thinking what to pray about and then I start to think about what is this all about it's about the book and the book is not the easy thing to come about hallelujah I know that you know you have to use your head, use your mind. You know, I'm working with the Americans, they always say, use your head. If you say, but I don't know how to do this thing, they say, use your head. Something that cannot speak cannot win you. Hallelujah. So I know that it, she had to use her head in order to come up with this book. So I was just thinking that, you know, what made David to say, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. And I see that, you know, he must have been sitting somewhere there where he was taking care of his father's flocks. Knowing that at home things were not nice because David was not at happy, happy at home. Because the Bible says that he was like an outsider in his own father's house. So I was just thinking that he must have been sitting there thinking about what is going on at home. What he has been going through all his life. You know, if you read Psalms 51, David's... Uh, cry to God and say, have mercy upon me, O God, because of my sins. And he also speak about him being born in sin, being born in, in a sinful way. So I was just thinking that must have been, lots of things must have been going on in his life that was not right at all and he was not happy at all. But he knew that, you know, even though he was alone in that bush taking care of those flocks of his father, he knew that God was with him. And if you are having God on your side, there is nothing impossible in your life. So same with you, Miriam, today. As you started this with God, there is nothing impossible with you in your life. And I know that this book is going to introduce you into the world. The book is going to introduce you into international people, people of value, people of valor. You are going to be known out there because of this book and because you started with God. Hallelujah. I know that you know, you, you may not know all the people that are going to read the book, but all the people that are going to read the book are going to know about you. Hallelujah. So you are going far. Prepare yourself to be in the far places. Prepare yourself to be seen in high levels. Prepare yourself. God is with you. You started this with God and God is going to go on with you wherever you go. And he is going to lift you up. Hallelujah. Okay, I'm not here to preach. Let me pray. <laughs> let me pray. Let's, let us pray. <laughs> let us bow our head and, and pray. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we want to thank you today for this day. I want to thank you, first of all, to make this day possible for my daughter. I want to thank you, oh God, my Father, for giving her this wisdom to come up with this book. I know this book is, it may be a starting point, but I believe that it shall indeed never be an ending point. She shall write more books and she shall be known as the author of books. Hallelujah. And I want to thank your mighty Father God for everyone that has made it to this place this morning. And I want you, oh God, my Father, to bless each and everyone that is still coming. And I want to thank you, oh God, my Father, for everything that is going to take place in this place today. Bless every speaker that is going to stand here. Bless everyone that is going to do something in this place. Bless those that has already started putting their fingers, working with the instruments and everything. Bless them, oh mighty Father God, for your glory. 
glory in the mighty name of Jesus. We just want to ask you, oh God, my Father, that you are going to bless this book. Let this book, Almighty oh Father God, go far. Let it go further into the world unknown out there in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray, oh God, my Father, that your light shall shine upon this book and you shall take glory out of this book. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands. It's a 